hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today we're going to be doing a day in the life of studying basically for nursing school and i had already brushed my teeth and everything this morning um before i started recording so i just like tried to get out of bed again and now i'm just grabbing a hoodie because my house is beyond freezing um, and now I'm just grabbing everything that I need to go downstairs because my boyfriend is sleeping upstairs So I prefer to study and everything downstairs um, Especially early in the morning while he's asleep that way he can get the rest that he needs Because he usually works overnight shifts So I'm just bringing all of my stuff downstairs and then I will set up some coffee and just do my basic morning stuff so that I can get ready to study My boyfriend usually does a pour over coffee and he leaves it sit there in the filter basically to dry throughout the day because it continues to drip. So I tend to just throw that out in the mornings when I go to make my coffee that way his pour over is clean and ready to go. And then I decided to unload the dishwasher that way throughout the day we're able to just load it instead of leaving items in the sink. So that is just what I'm doing here while I wait for my coffee to brew. My coffee's done. I'm just giving you the beautiful aesthetic of the creamer and the sugar and so you can enjoy that in slow motion. And as most of you guys know, I do drink a crap ton of water every single day. That's pretty much my number one tip for keeping your skin clear. So if I'm at home, I tend to put a couple slices of lemon in my water. Um, and if I'm not at home, then I just put all of my water in my simple modern travel water jug. It's basically like a hydro flask. It's just the dupe of it basically. So it's a lot cheaper, but it does the exact same thing. And I can have that link down below if you'd like. Now I'm just jumping onto the computer and I'm getting all of my study stuff set up. I had several assignments that I had to do that were due in the next few days, so I just wanted to get those completed. And I am absolutely loving my iPad Pro, you guys. It is so nice to have as a second screen on the side of my laptop and it's just super duper helpful. Um, right here, I'm just taking a little break so that I can have my protein shake and this is um, after I've had my coffee this is pretty much my breakfast um, I go in first with a little bit of the kefir I thought it was called kefir but apparently it's supposed to be pronounced kefir um, and then I go in with mostly almond milk just because the kefir almost tastes like Greek yogurt so it's very bitter so I just put a little bit of it just for the probiotics and then I'm adding a full banana in and then I go in with my organ um, protein and superfoods and you're supposed to do two scoops but whenever I do it comes out way too grainy so I just put one scoop um, and I definitely think that I'm still getting the nutrients that my body needs and then while that's blending up I just add one tablespoon of my chia seeds and I don't add that into my blender because when I do it gets completely stuck and then it never is stirred into the cup and this way is just so much easier so now I'm just gonna fill up my Brita and clean out the blender and for those of you who don't know, I've pretty much always cleaned my blender by adding water and soap and then blending it. Um, and I do that pretty much two to three uh, days in a row. And then after like the third, the second or third day, I go in and I actually wash it down with a sponge and everything. But I make the exact same drink every day, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world. But now I'm just going in and this is a virtual simulation which is by Lippincott. So I'm going in and completing the assignment that was due. And you have a pre-quiz and a post-quiz uh, before and after the simulation. So any questions that I get wrong or I wasn't too sure on, I go into my Notability app and I go into the, I go into the PowerPoint that's specific to the information that's being quizzed. That way I can just add extra notes for my knowledge. Um, to that specific PowerPoint and it'll kind of jog my memory of taking this quiz if that makes sense So when I go into study, I just have that little bit of extra detail um, and extra notes there as well So 
So now this is hours later, I decided to make a breakfast sandwich. This was basically my lunch. And as you can see, my bagel was like super dark and I have no clue why because it was still really soft even though it was toasted. So I don't know why it looks so burned, but trust me, it was so good. After this, I had another simulation to do. So I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. The first thing that comes up is the patient's chart. And then after that, I'm able to go in and assess and intervene for the patient, which you'll see next. Hi, I'm Amy. I'll be your primary nurse today. I'll wash my hands. I have started to bleed again. Please state your name and date of birth. My name is Fatim Sanogo. I was born on July 8th. So as you can see, I can click certain prompts in order to communicate with the client. And then the patient is also able to respond back to me. Um, and then here I'm just going back into the patient's chart and seeing the doctor's orders and seeing when any medication was given. That way I can know how to intervene, what all my assessments should be, how often their vitals need to be checked. And I pretty much just go through ADPI and I also just go through any of the uh, labs that need to be drawn. Um, I do any of the vaginal exams that I need to do. Um, I had to insert a straight calf and all like that. Uh, after that, I'm able to see what I've done wrong and what I've done right. Um, I got an 88%, which means that I'm good to go. I no longer have to do anything um, because in my program, I do need at least an 80% to pass. If I don't get an 80%, I am able to go back in and take it again um, until I get a higher score. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in and just do my basic studying since I finished my assignments. So I go on nursing.com and I go into courses and I do pay for this. It's $25 a month during COVID. They're actually, that's a promotion. Um, and it is very, very helpful and so super duper worth it. Um, so I basically go in, I go with my syllabus and I type in each exemplar and I go into the exemplar and I open up the cheat sheet that nursing.com gives you. I download it to Notability and then I watch the course. So they basically have an instructor who's filming a video, kind of like Khan Academy, where they ride along with you and they explain everything. And then I'm taking those notes on my cheat sheet. That way I'm better understanding it because I can see it, I can hear it, and I'm also writing it. Um, so I'm doing this after all of my readings, after I've already had lecture, so I've already heard and seen this information before, um, and now this is just kind of reiterating it for me, which I really enjoy. Pretty much studied for several hours uh, through several different exemplars on the nursing.com website, and after that I just watched Love Island, which is on CBS. Um, I watched some of it downstairs after studying and then I watched a little bit more once I went upstairs to go to bed. Um, so that's pretty much it for today's video. And if you guys would like an in-depth study routine or this is how I make my study guides, please let me know down below. Or if you enjoy the nursing content, let me know so that I can make some more for you, okay? Have a great one. Bye guys.